Arctic is a continent of eternal ice, except for the northernmost tip. Here, a string of volcanic islands rear their dark heads every summer. Antarctica, the penguin capital of the world, where life often hangs by a thread. Every year, penguins gather in their millions, protection enough while they feed and mate. This is the story of an annual congress deep inside our planet's freezer. Gentoo normally lay two eggs. The second arrives a few days after the first as an afterthought, a kind of security in case one is stolen. Chicks are equally at risk and must be protected from the prying eyes of the skewer. The Gentoo must be particularly alert during the month-long period of incubation. Babies will spend another two weeks in the protective bosom of their parents. Gentoos breed at their own pace. While chicks hatch in one nest, a neighboring nest is still being built. They spend days sniffing out gems from the blackest holes to line their nests. The job of protecting and fussing over babies falls squarely on male shoulders. While the male takes up Baywatch duties, the female attends to hunting and provisioning. 
good mothers give their chicks every opportunity to fatten and grow into adults, otherwise they won't survive the looming long winter. Chicks can fast for a few days at a time, but eventually fathers must dig deep to keep their dependents alive. A recent discovery found that penguins are endowed with a unique ability to regurgitate fresh food. Their stomachs preserve undigested protein by destroying bacteria. How they do this is not yet fully understood. But it's enough for chicks to survive the vagaries of the summer's end. Fair weather brings good news for everyone. The females will hunt for two weeks. The gentoos won't be fooled by this circus act at sea. Within minutes, the entire Gentoo community votes with its feet to join chinstraps. Daylight wanes, Adelis enjoy one last toboggan ride. They must bid farewell for another winter to Adelie Land. <laughs> <laughs> 